Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do histograms and frequency polygons. Now if you look at the information it says 32 learners wrote a test. These were the results. And then they tell you between 20 and 30 there were 5 learners, between 30 and 40 there were 5 learners, 40 to 50 there were 10 learners, 50 to 60 7 learners, 60 to 70 3 learners, 70 to 80 1 learner, 80 to 90 1 learner. Now, when they ask us to draw a histogram, a histogram is very much like a bar graph, except now the bars are close together. In a bar graph, we used ungrouped data, which means the data wasn't running between two groups, like 20 to 30. So the bars were separate and there were spaces between them. But in a histogram, because it's grouped data, the bars are touching each other, saying that the 30 here and the 30 in the next graph are very close to each other. Right, when we are drawing a histogram, we still have the values to where it is going up to. So if you take 20 to 30, we're still going to mark that it's going up to 5. The difference is how we mark these. So what we're going to do is at the bottom here, each bar will be given its limit. When you are drawing a histogram, you must remember that usually if they ask you a histogram, the very next question will be a frequency polygon. Now a frequency polygon has to be grounded which means that 20 to 30 is your first point in a histogram but you will always need one point before that for a polygon and you'll always need one point after that for a polygon so keeping that in mind you must remember never start your first bar with the information given so when I've got 20 to 30 I should leave the first bar and I should go to the next bar can you see and then you're going to go on and then remembering that you would also need one afterwards even though it stopped 80 to 90 you are going to go on to one more which is 90 to 100 right now what are they telling us they are telling us that from 20 to 30 we went up to 5. So we're going to go up to 5. Then 30 to 40 was also 5. But look, no spaces between them. Immediately next to each other. Can you see? Unlike a bar graph where there were spaces between each other. Then we've got 40 to 50 go up to 10. And 50 to 60 go up to 7. Sixty to 70 go up to 3. Seventy to eighty is one, and then eighty to ninety is one again. So when you look, you have a histogram. Can you see? The histogram is basically bars, but that are right next to each other. Now let's go to the next one. The next one says draw a frequency polygon. In order to draw a frequency polygon, you need the midpoints. Now you know how to calculate the midpoints because you had done that when we had done mean, median and mode of group data in grade 10. So it's exactly the same thing. You're going to say 30 plus 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 25. And then you've got 40 plus 30. 35. 50 plus 40 gives us 45. 60 plus 50 gives us 55. 60 plus 70. Then we got 70 plus 80. And 80 plus 90. 
Now, when we are doing this, what does it mean? What am I looking for actually? If we look, we are basically, this is between 20 and 30. So I'm looking at the middle. Can you see? So for all of them, I'm going right in the middle. Now, what is important is that you always need to ground it, which means that I have to have. So the one before would have been 10 to 20. And 10 to 20, if I divide it, it would be 10 plus 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 15. Now, it would be 15, but this point would be zero. And then you have to ground it on the other side, which means after 80 to 90, I'm going to go 90 to 100. Now, if I add that, I'm going to end up with 95, which means that at 95, I'm going to have a zero. How do we draw the frequency polygon? A frequency polygon is simply joining the dots. Can you see? It's like straight lines joining the dots and there's your frequency polygon. So all you have to do with the frequency polygon is taking your histogram, taking the middle of them and then having their points and joining the points. Thank you for watching.